And I'm Joan Fee. And, and we're, we're still crafty, crafty after 50. And today we're going to be making a wind chime. Now everybody's got all these old salt and pepper shakers hanging around. And these can be old dirty ones or a, that don't have a mate or something like that. And we've got an old tray and we're going to make wind chimes out of it. So you can just hang it outside and enjoy it. How cute is this? I'm thinking you could even add colored water. Yes, to I was just thinking that. Or you can paint the outside or you can paint the lids or anything like that. So let me show you how to do it. All right. Okay, so now we've got all of our salt and pepper shakers. We're going to take the lid off and we're going to run some. Um, this is just cording that I got in the jewelry department, but you can use string. Wire I don't know about because it's um, a little too stiff and I might not mm. go in the breeze. But you want to cut this at an angle, and then you want to come from the bottom. And cutting at an angle is going to help it go through right. the little it's holes. Right, it's just like a needle, yes. And you just want to pull it up and go through. And so now this is the one that's going to be going onto your plate. And this is just a little inexpensive tray, or you've got old ones. And I've put nail uh, holes in it. You can use an awl or a nail or anything. Just put it on some wood. Pound it through and make your holes. Great idea. So now I just want to tie a knot here. And you want to do it several times. It's going to be out in the breeze. So you really want to make sure that you've got this tied several times. And it looks like this corn comes in some really yummy, fun colors. I know, isn't it too? fun? And then I just want to put a knot in one end. Okay. So let me get this out here. Okay. And now you want to. Uh, when you put the lid back on, add some waterproof outdoor glue and that will hold it in place so it doesn't swing off or do something mm -hmm. like that. Okay? Now at that point you would want, you could put maybe uh, water in it or something like that or paint mm -hmm. the outside before you do all this. Okay, now to get a little bit of color on here, I'm going to take another different string and I wanted to pull it from underneath this knot and you just want to string it on there. Just thread it through. Tie a knot or a bow or whatever you want here. I'm surprised you didn't put some cute buttons on there, Cheryl. I, I know. Like buttons. There's all kinds of things you could put on oh, there. Oh, definitely. Uh, charms. I was looking for some old keys, and naturally I couldn't find them last night, but I was thinking old keys would be really fun in and around on this, too. Oh, absolutely. Anything that's uh -huh. weatherproof would go great definitely. on that. So you want to um, cut these ends, and then... I want to add some more of the glue there, and that will keep this mm -hmm. tight together, and um, so it won't come apart in the breeze or something like that. And make sure you use a glue that's going to dry clear. Right, definitely. Okay, now you're going to thread this up through one of the holes. So you just want to adjust them at different lengths so that they still hit each other and make noise, but it looks more interesting around. And it's as easy as that. Now you could also use little jars with lids, just put ho punch holes in them. Um, you can use keys, like I said, any kind of charms, anything that will make noise. Oh, what a great idea, mm -hmm. Cheryl. So easy to uh -huh.